Your Honor, Kia ora, good morning. Today is uh, Monday, the 5th of uh, March 2019, and welcome to week 5 of the semester. We're into the, um, uh, the second, um, the end of uh, part 2, which is the political heartland, and uh, we've just uh, completed uh, over the last two weeks the Big Islands. Fiji, Tonga, uh, Hawaii, and Tahiti, and Samoa. And um, this last segment is uh, dedicated just to the last eight of the uh, Polynesian group of islands, namely Tuvalu, Rotuma, Uvea and Futuna, Tokelau, Niue, Cook Islands, Rapa Nui, and Aotearoa, New Zealand. And this is a mixed bunch of, uh, uh, of islands, uh, with varying uh, variations in the um, in the way that the hierarchies uh, or their centralized authority systems had evolved. Um, dealing with the group uh, uh, with this uh, with this group of eight uh, together, I think we can make a couple of uh, uh, general statements about them. Um, and the first one is. It's amazing to see the colonial um, name, the, the colonial uh, um, labels that uh, remain throughout uh, history. For example, uh, in the case of Tuvalu, uh, Tokelau, Cook Islands, and to some extent uh, Wallace and Futuna or Uwe and Futuna, uh, names that were created by the colonial, by the European colonial rulers, have remained fixed throughout uh, uh, the, the the history of have, have remained today. Uh, Tuvalu was known formally um, um, as as the uh, as the as the Alice Islands. Uh, together, they were ruled by Britain uh, together with uh, the Gilberts. Known uh, the two groups were known as the Gilbert and Alice groups. And as you know, Alice, has, uh, when it became independent uh, in 1978, uh, late 70s, it became known as Tuvalu. It changed its name to Tuvalu. Um, the Cook Islands, um, there was no such name uh, until the uh, Europeans arrived uh, in the 18th century. Each island uh, had its own uh, chiefdom had its own uh, uh, ariki, and um, it was ruled independent of any other island, most of the islands. So there are some exceptions, for example, in the Achiu. Achiu uh, rules over two other islands, uh, Mitiaro and Moke, next door. Um, but on the whole, each island group existed separately and autonomously, and it was only uh, in the uh, in the 18th uh, late 18th century that uh, these uh, islands were, were were brought together. First, uh, by Captain Cook, he named he named them after uh, an, an English aristocrat called uh, Hervey, the Hervey Group of Islands, and then the, when New Zealand took over, um, they were named after uh, a name that a Russian uh, explorer by the name of Kustostern. Uh, Krista Stern, um, you'll have to check that name, it was the, 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 uh, uh, a Russian admiral who had charted the islands and, and um, named them in the, uh, the, na the, the Russian uh, uh, um, maps and uh, it, he called it the Cook Islands and it's that name that has, stayed, uh, has remained today. So in those, um, uh, in, in those cases, there were no, there were no um, uh, central authority because the central authorities for the, these groups of islands were colonial creations, but as individual islands, they were. And uh, we'll have to study the, these individual islands separately in order to understand the evolution of centralized systems of authority. In the case of the other islands, Rotuma, uh, Niue, um, Rapa Nui, and Aotearoa, New Zealand, to some extent, uh, there were centralized authority systems. Sorry. With um, Rotuma, uh, Tokelau, Niue, uh, but not Rapa Nui and Aotearoa, New Zealand. In Rotuma, 
uh, the emergence of pre-Christian, pre-colonial authority systems emerged, and you had Rotuma under the reigns of first a Samoan and then a Tongan. In the case of Tokelau, there are instances there of a Tui Tokelau reigning over. Um, well, we don't have the evidence, but the name Tui Tokelau suggests that at one time, Long before, long before the Europeans uh, arrived and documented uh, the history of uh, the, the scribble of Ireland, the, the names Tui Tokelau suggest that the, the three, three islands, Atafu, uh, uh, Nukunono, Nukunono, and Fakofo, Atafu, Nukunono, and Fakofo, um, were. Uh, in the myths, in the in the days of the legendary, in in the in the in the, in the time of legends, uh, they they must have um, we can only assume that there must have been a Tui Tokelau. In the case of Niue, Niue is just one one group of island, one one island, one island. So uh, a king or uh, uh, the, the 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 emergence of a of uh, an entity approximating to um, a chief, a ruling paramount chief, did emerge there in, the, in Niue. In the, the Cook Islands, each island had their own. And Rotonga, which is the uh, most uh, documented of all, uh, there are cases there, stemming from the rivalry between the Tahitian, uh, Tangi'ia, and the Samoan, Karika, uh, and the rivalry between these two chiefs, uh, a... Uh, a, 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 a chieftain emerged under the titles of uh, Ariki or the Marqueas. Rapunui, not so clear. Um, it's not as well as documented as the others. In Aotearoa, New Zealand, you have a problem of, uh, well, you have a situation there where there is no tradition of a centralized authority system. There was, in, case, uh, in, in many, uh, the, 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 the the tribes that emerged there all had their own chiefdom, and there is no evidence of uh, any any tribe uh, rising and uh, bringing, conquering, and uh, evolving a central authority there. And there are reasons for that. I won't go into it. That's all down there in the uh, in the in the power slide in the slide show. Um, so. Those are the uh, main comments. Uh, welcome to week five, and we will talk more about that uh, this week on uh, on Tuesday. Um, goodbye for now.